Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and mercy upon us this far. Let us continue trusting and waiting upon the Lord in all situations, in everything we experience in this life. God is still God and God on our side. Today we are looking at Matthew chapter 8 and I'll read verse number 5 to 7. Matthew 8, 5 to 7. The Bible says, Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Praise be to God. Yes, this is good news, that when we call upon Jesus, he hears, and the kind of answers he gives us, they are very uplifting. This is a centurion who was concerned about his servant. And the concern he had, he knew where to take it. And so he called upon Jesus. Actually, this version says that he was pleading with him. And he said, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. He was concerned. We see these three people in these two verses or three verses that we have read. The first person we see is this centurion. The second one is the sick servant. And the third person is Jesus Christ. The centurion had a concern. And the person he's concerned about is not even his um, colleague. Actually, the Bible calls him his servant. Somebody who was under him. And he was concerned. And Jesus Christ, after receiving the plea, he says, I will come and heal him. Praise be to God. God has placed you there so that you may plead on behalf of the people who are under you and everybody else that God has exposed you to. He has placed you there so that you may stand in the gap and as you stand in the gap, you know, the one we are calling upon is so willing to respond and responding very well with a soul uplifting message. I will come and heal him. You could be like this servant who was unwell and you're feeling like you are so down. This is an encouragement. that There's somebody who is pleading on your behalf. You could be feeling pressed downcast, losing hope. Don't lose hope. Somebody is standing in the gap on your behalf. Sometimes we imagine like those who are above us, those who command authority on us, we feel as though they don't care. This is a good example because a centurion was an officer, you know, of the Roman army who commanded about a hundred soldiers. Sometimes we imagine like our seniors are not concerned about our issues. This is a good example that they are concerned. Again, the willingness of our Lord Jesus Christ and the way he responds is such an encouragement today. I will come and heal him. What does this tell you as you read? I will come. This is what Jesus said in verse number seven. I will come and heal him. The willingness to enter into a home of a Gentile. This, this is what shocked the centurion. This is Jesus ready to come and enter into a Gentile's home. This is amazing. Meaning that our Lord Jesus Christ is above any border, any hindrance. He's not hindered by anything. He's willing to come even where you are. I will come and heal him. God's grace is upon us because Jesus Christ has done everything that we needed to be drawn close and closer to God. I will come and heal him. The centurion had confidence in Jesus Christ. Looking at how he operates and who Jesus is, he had great confidence in him. And our Lord Jesus Christ, even today, this is the response he is giving. 
I will come and sort it out. I will come and give you a breakthrough. Take heart, be strong, be encouraged. Somebody is pleading on your behalf. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a lovely week.